Good evening. Today we will be discussing the um, Wall Street Journal article regarding the uh, income gap between, well, they actually said whites and blacks, but uh, to be politically correct, it's minorities and possibly even Asians. Um, what they need to do, and this is the burden of proof is on the plaintiff, not the defendant. So what they need to do is to strip out when you hear uh, African Americans make roughly 50,000 and whites make 74,000, what you don't hear is that they need to uh, strip out the data. You can't just take those figures like that. So you need to factor out uh, position, experience, all the factors that go into salary. And what you're left over, if there is any, is the um, race gap, which should be none, but um, Apparently, a lot of people believe that there is, but they haven't come up with that data. They just make um, accusations without data, which are uh, baseless and don't do anything. Um, so what they need to do, what they need to do, is to come up and see those numbers. I don't even know what those numbers are. That's their job to do that. Um, once they do that, you know, the numbers will come down, hopefully to nothing. But they still believe that there's a gap there, and there should not be a gap. But uh, if there is, um, you know, it should be nothing. I think everybody would agree on that. Um, but uh, that's something that they need to do. And uh, fixing that's going to be, I think, more complicated. But, um, you know, there's, there, there's a solution for everything. Um, and a competitive market, you know, that situation will take care of itself. But... Um, uh, one thing where the Democrats make mistakes is that you can't just selectively enforce something. So if society was to say, okay, we're going to do this to close the race gap, um, you can't just selectively enforce it and say Microsoft has to abide by that and Exxon doesn't have to. You have to uh, enforce it with everybody, which means it would apply to the NBA as well. So you're going to see um, a lot less African-Americans and playing in the NBA and making more money because you can't uh, selectively enforce it. That would be uh, racist <laughs> against whites. So um, at the end of the day, this stuff will balance out. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that I have to make a comment today because, uh, you know, I'm at where I'm at, uh, even if there is a gap. Um, that's about uh, one out of a hundred reasons why I'm doing really well financially. So it's, it's really sad that I had to make this statement tonight. Thank you.